My name's Brian and I do the reception here in the foyer. I've been here for a number of years. Now, this Crossrail project means a demolition of this building and many others around here. Many others on the whole line of the Crossrail. It's 12 odd miles of that. For the purpose of digging a tunnel that you're not really wanted at all. Who wants another tunnel under London? It's going to do so much damage and cause so much congestion and disruption during its building that uh, it's a total waste of money. It won't stick to its budget, it won't stick to its timetable. So what is the point of it? The black bit is the station that's going to go here and obliterate Soho. Okay? okay. The main body of it will go from Charing Cross Road to Wardour Street and from Oxford Street down to Manette Street, Foyle's Bookshop. It's that area. And that's just this station alone. There are eight stations on this tunnel, each of similar proportions. So you're going to have total, total chaos. We're closing down many venues around here. Many. Businesses, they're up in arms because they're not getting decent compensation for being moved out. Everybody's unhappy. That one, as you know, is, is the Tottenham Court Road station. That's the Paddington station. Right? Yeah. That's the Bond Street station. This one is, this is just a, a ventilation shaft in Hoban. And we have Farringdon Station. Okay. And we have Liverpool Street Station. And this is Whitechapel Station. So they're the stations on the line. It's not till you study these to see the scale of them. It's, uh, I don't believe that the MPs that voted for it know what size of disruption they voted for. I think it's just passed it through on the nod. It's another project to spend some money on without knowing what the heck they're voting for. What is it going to benefit anybody? Save two minutes on a journey across London? I have him retire. My name's Andy Grant and I'm from Romford. I'm Katie and I'm from Romford. I've been to a few places around London, seen some great bands, had some really awesome times, met some brilliant people. And now that they're all closing down, there's just so few opportunities for people to actually get out and do things. Uh, Westminster Council proposed the new 250 seat venue to be built to replace Victoria and try to kill others. Is it just going to be a theatre? Yeah, it's just going to be a theatre. I don't know, if it doubled up as maybe a gig venue or somewhere that could be changed around to fit different purposes, I wouldn't be too bad with it. But if it is just a theatre, then I don't really see the point because that's what the West End's for. You know, we've, got, we've got enough theatres in London to keep us going for a hundred years. And all the gig venues that are closing down just keep the Astoria open or I'll piss in your nostrils. <laughs>
Let me just put my stuff there. Right. It's hindering me. My name's Rachel. I shan't. Hello. <laughs> We're from Bournemouth. You guys ever been to this story before? Yeah. We went there last night. It was good. And got very drunk and beaten up. <laughs> good time. Have you heard about the, um, the demolition? I have now, because you told me about five minutes ago. Do you know anything else about it? It's to do um, train lines, isn't it? Yeah. And that's a bit rubbish. There's, There's loads of trains, trains everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> There's a massive like, underground thing. Yeah. <laughs> With the crews and that. <laughs> I mean, how do, you, how do you feel about it? Um, well, I quite like going to gigs there, so it's a bit rubbish. And it's quite an old building, I yeah, found yeah, out yeah. on Wikipedia. I looked on Wikipedia <laughs> about it. Yeah. So that's uh, no, yeah, we prefer if they didn't. We've just found out that as well as the, um, the story, they're also knocking down Metro around the corner, Borderline and Sin as well. What, just to make these train? Yeah, great. Train, make up train. Oh, well, that's, that's fucking stupid. A lot of people don't realise the size of it, but it's just going to run pretty much from here all the way down this whole street for the whole stage. Well, that, no, that is rubbish because they put on some really good gigs here and stuff. So. Well, they proposed uh, what that is for a new story from 250 seats compared to this, which is like 2,000, 3,000. Oh. It'll be like gigging in Bournemouth. Yeah. Why would you bother? You would just go to a really big one or you'd go to a local. No, thank exactly. you. That's just stupid. But if there's loads of space to stand up, I suppose it's not so bad. But just... Okay, I'm Zoe. Yeah, that's about it, really. I have a few times. My first ever gig was here, so it's quite monumental in my life. And I've been a few times, yeah. Um, <laughs> my first gig was Sponge. Um, I've seen, oh dear, and it, is it just including Mean Fiddler as well? Yes. Um, okay, I've seen The Filaments, I've seen Sonic Room 6, sorry I'm not looking at the camera because I'm thinking, um, <laughs> We're a Big Fish, Less Than Jake, Rancid on Friday, um, etc, etc, loads, I'm sorry, can't remember them all. <laughs> How did you first hear about the story of Link Knowledge? Um, word of mouth? It's become a bit of a thing in the music scene. Everyone's like, oh, this is terrible. We've got to stop it, so, yeah. I personally feel, I think the cross rail thing is a good idea, but on this story is an absolutely terrible idea because there are like there aren't very many gig venues in London which are good, and especially this size, and there's a lot of bands that aren't big enough for Brixton, aren't small enough for like Underworld and stuff like that, and this is the perfect size for those kind of bands, and I think it'd be a real shame. And also it's central, which is really good because everyone can get there. And yeah. Uh, Westminster Council proposed that a new 260 seater theatre is going to go as a replacement. How do you feel about this? Seater. Well, it doesn't really cater for what's taken, goes on in this story, really. So, uh, no, I think that's a crap idea, no offence. You can't really take away, because it's got a lot of history and stuff as well, and quite a lot of things about gig venues is history. So, okay, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>